right y'all so i apologize in advance because i didn't record myself when i first started mainly because i was afraid to show any mistakes if i was and i did i didn't make mistakes it's my first oil painting and i didn't really want to show that on camera also i wasn't sure if i was going to give up or not um i have a bad habit of putting away a painting when i don't want to touch it and it's just coming it's not coming easy to me so i just put it away for a while but yeah i didn't time myself either i don't normally record the hours i spend on a painting but i worked on this one and completed it over the course of a month and a half if i were to guesstimate how many consistent days colby took i would say about two weeks this was my first oil painting so one thing i noticed is that the right side of the painting where i started looks lighter and flatter the colors look flatter than the left side and this is because as i went from right to left i started to figure out how to add depth dimension and shadow while using the oil paint um, I also got more comfortable with blending different colors to match the colors in the picture. At first, I was a little frustrated because my hands need to touch some part of the canvas to get the fine detail, and I kept forgetting the paint was wet. And so you're gonna see like this little doodle stain on the white parts of the canvas next to his face because that's where my hands would smudge. You also see it here where his hand is. I'm, I'm learning not to touch because when I see other people painting with oil paint on YouTube, they're like using the paintbrush all the way on the end of the paintbrush and they're just like lightly touching there and I'm like, how do you do that? Like I need to touch my canvas. But anyways, um, then I really started to see the benefit of oil paints slow drying process because when I would mix the colors to get the darks and the lights especially with um his hand right here if I were to have used acrylic paint that would have been dried already because I went over that a lot <laughs> like that part where his hand is is my favorite part of the painting because I'm proud of it it looks the most realistic out of the whole thing to me I had to add a lot of layers within each piece of this because one I wasn't familiar with oil paint and two I made the lines too dark when I did the grid method so it was really hard to hide those because I didn't erase them when I was painting in the yellow parts of his jersey and now I know that I have to because they popped right through the jersey and I had to do like five six layers I think I even added some acrylic paint like some white acrylic paint to kind of cover the lines within his jersey because they just weren't going away and the paint dries slow and so that part <laughs> that part was so frustrating yo and I really found this part of the painting super satisfying because I finally get to cover up all those smudge marks and I wasn't so happy with the painting because it just looked so dirty and messy to me the whole time but this is like so satisfying to me like you know those videos where people are cutting soap i don't see how that's satisfying like this right here cleaning up line work that's satisfying girls doing their edges that's satisfying like i don't know that's just me but if anything this painting taught me that i needed to be more consistent with my pieces because when i did put it away the week after i started it it was out of frustration and I just didn't want to touch it and I didn't want to rush it. Um, I wanted to put time and effort and make this piece super special because Kobe deserves it. But I wanted this to have the same importance of the Mona Lisa. The real Mona Lisa painting is small and people all over the world come and travel to see this really small painting. And I kind of wanted it to have that same to reflect that same importance that's why i chose a 16 by 20 canvas but um yeah when i put it away i didn't touch it for like a week or two maybe three weeks i don't even remember like i need to start timing myself but yeah when i did put it away um the paint ended up drying and oil paint takes a long time to dry it takes like seven to twelve days to dry and i ended up letting the whole right side of the paint dry like that's terrible I can't do that next time 
but anyways i'm glad it came out this way especially i'm like i'm super impressed with myself for it to come out like this for my first oil painting it was definitely difficult and i learned a lot from making this one um moving forward i know that i'll need to start with the shadows and the dark colors before the light colors and I definitely need to erase the grid part that I did with the pencil because that was the most frustrating part of this whole piece was trying to cover up my line work and yeah this is just so satisfying to watch me cover up all of the all of the smudges and the pencil and man I still think the colors look flat and I could have added some more darker like shadows and the darker browns I could have made it a little more darker I think I made his eyebrows super black and I didn't mean to they all fleek but yeah the colors could be more vibrant so what I'm thinking is adding a resin pour so I have to let this sit and dry for like 7 to 12 days again and when I do the resin pour I think it'll bring out the colors and it'll pop a lot more and that part I'm really excited about and here it is the finished product that part right there where his hand is my favorite part the paint is still wet and that's why the black kind of looks splotchy but overall I'm super happy with how this turned out I know I could do better but that's just me I just set myself on a higher standard and you know artists are their own worst critic but for the first time using oil paint, I, I think I did pretty darn good. Um, let me know where I should put my signature, if I should even put it in the front. I'll definitely record myself when I do the resin pour. Um, follow me on Instagram, Kyra the Creative, and subscribe if you'd like to see more time-lapse videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.